Oh, welcome. <laughs> welcome, welcome, welcome to uh, day nine in Trails in the Sky. I think we're on day nine. We just got Olivia on our party. Um, so I think that means that we have a full party now because I think that a full party in this game is like four people. But good morning, Marty. Good morning, Kazi. Um, last energy I have kept me up at 3 a.m. Dude. I think it really depends on the timing of the energy drink, you know? Oh my gosh, everyone's here already. Morning, Nat Reg. No, no, no. Morning, Makora. Was everyone just like waiting? Damn. Hello, hello, hello. Um, I think what we need to do right now, though, is we're supposed to like look around the south block to try to figure out what's going. Wait! I didn't even know we we're supposed to go here, and I just got it. what? Okay, I guess I just found out where I'm supposed to go randomly. Um, but Natreg, I actually wanted to to tell you that I looked into uh, it was I think it's called Uden Chronicles 100 Heroes. I looked into it, and it looks really nice. There's no like official release date yet, though, right? It just says 2023. Dorothy. Yay, this one turned out really cute. Niall, is this how you wanted this one? Yeah, sure, something like that. However, we really got screwed, you know that? Hmm? I didn't even have time to say hi to everyone today on stream. I just, like, got thrown right into this. I didn't even know I was supposed to go up here. I was just running around in the game. Good afternoon, are you working on another story? Looks like you two are on the trail of a scoop again. Hey, it's you kids. Oh, Estelle and Joshua. Boy, am I glad to see that they let you out of the clinker. Yeah, I heard all about you kids getting arrested by the army up at the old mine. You certainly had me worried. I, <laughs> I wish we could go back into the mine, though. Why are you acting like you had nothing to do with it? It was your info that led us to the village. Hey, now. What kind of face is that? Don't tell me you blame us. Did you go and check out the abandoned mine yourselves? Yeah, we did yesterday. But it was after you all had already been hauled off. Could have had a really great shot of your arrest had we been there. It really guts me that we missed such a perfect opportunity for a great shoot shot. Uh, I swear, you people in the news business. But anyway, I was wondering if you thought this looked like the handiwork of the Sky Bandit. It sure looks that way to me. Seems that the army is sniffing around for clues, too. But to be honest, it looks like there's nothing to be found here anymore. I see, that does make things a bit more difficult. Well, Mr. Reporter, why don't you let me ask you this, then? Do you know from whence the Sky Banners enter town? According to witness statements, they were seen leaving through the West Gate. Well, that's awfully strange. The mayor's residence and Bolsey Market are right through the West Gate, and it seems like attacking those two places would be far more lucrative. When you put it that way, that makes a lot of sense. But if you don't mind me asking, who the heck are you anyway? <laughs> Not yet. There's a short uh, of prequel, or sort of prequel called Uden Rising. I did see Uden Rising, but it looks like a completely different kind of game. It looked like it was like a uh, like, like a, like a side-scroller platformer type of game. Kuro's... What's Kuro? That's what I was about to ask. Kuro, I haven't even heard of it. I'm glad you... Yeah, no, Olivia! Why'd you ask? I'm Olivia Linham, a wandering bard and gifted musician. Dude, he calls himself a he calls himself a gifted musician. You, you you can call yourself a wandering bard, but the moment you call yourself a gifted musician, it's like, come on now. All right, you're the guy who drank wine without paying at the classy restaurant. It takes guts to stiff such a big bill. It's an honor to meet you, sir. Aha! You're making me blush. I'm ready for my interview anytime, so don't hesitate to ask. Wow, really? I'm getting a headache just listening to this crap. These two are very much alike. I'm not even going to ask how this guy wound up with the rest of you. That would be for the best. Grino kiss the Oh, the one after coat still games and after Reverie. Oh, okay, 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 okay. I got it now. It looks like the burglars made off with nearly everything. I could have sworn that my boss locked up last night. Hmm. The newest mod of camera on display here was stolen. Do you think the Sky Bandits have an interest in photography? Next to your shenanigans, the pages of the next issue are going to be filled with some real gripping headlines. Let me know if you get any other scoops. Hmm. So 
So last time we did already go through everything for the our orbment system, right? Because we don't even have enough to buy the last slot on the Livier because it's like 200 of each element. But all we wanted on him was Chaos Brand. We got Joshua fully out, fully decked out with all of his uh, time ornaments or orbments, and then we have her with her. Can't even talk about it right now. How much stuff she has? It's wild. So wild how much stuff she has. But I think they also said that the arm store was robbed too. And we probably need to buy some new equipment from here, don't we? We can't buy any new guns. Unfortunately. Wow, we actually don't even need new equipment from here. Like, I could buy this, but it's only like one defense increase. Screw that. Wow, we don't need anything from here. I could sell stuff, but I don't want to sell stuff because I think it, it could be worth it to keep it. Especially if we don't need the money. We have 10,000 Mira. We're rich! Until we get to next the, the next town. Uh, we should talk to him, shouldn't we? Damn it. My shop got ripped off by a bunch of thieving criminals. And they took off with every last one of my pricey goods, too. Why does this have to happen to me at a time when there are hardly any goods around to begin with? He knows when that one will start to get localized. At least you still have Azure and Rita to look forward to. Nayuta. Where I played River already and now Kuro almost at the end of chapter four. Mm. It honestly for me, I'm like, please give me more time to get through these games. But it does seem like uh probably not to like 2024, 2025, right? Probably 2024. I'm surprised at their release cadence right now. Mm. Can we talk to the guards, maybe? I can't believe this guy man has managed to circumvent our search and just walked right into town and burglarized a bunch of places. We're really outdone this time. Hmm. Can we go to south now? No, we still have to look through. So maybe we should ask some residents about stuff? Oh, is he interrogating them. I'm trying to ask a few questions here. Would you mind getting out of the way? I'm not trying to be rude, but this is an official investigation. Move it, move it along. Oh, I wish I could, like, keep on talking and then he gets madder and madder and madder or something. Um, nothing in there. What about in this house? Now we've got burglars running or mocking the city. I swear, what's happening to Bose? I'm just glad they left this house alone. Though I'm baffled as to why, they certainly didn't do their homework on the city. I was talking when I heard about the south block being hit by burglars. Murano's mother was here alone, you see. Fortunately, this house is un was untouched in the burglaries. But it's at times like this that it makes you feel uneasy when there's no man at home. I'm just glad that Murano brought Simon over to watch the house. Huh. Interesting. Why was this house not hit? Is there anything here? Any evidence? That I need to investigate? Probably not. Doesn't look like it. I don't expect Goro for at least until 2024 if we were lucky, which by then we'll probably have already occurred three on Japan. This is slow. With all the games that I need to play anyways, I think I'm going to be fine. I think I'm going to be fine. Because there's a book up there. Why are they investigating all these? Are you braces here to ask a few questions yourself? This is a mess for the both of us, I tell you. We'll be done with our questioning soon enough, so how about... ...being good and sitting tight? What? They won't allow me to inv They won't allow me to do anything! There's like- There's a ton of games! Like, I'm being told about- I'm being told about games during my streams, I'm like... Hey, have you heard of Sigolden? Hey, have you heard about- Oh, there's a guard? Or officer? Heard about Sakodin? Have you heard about Uden? Have you heard about all the different Final Fantasy games that are releasing? Hey, you there? What? Is something wrong? I thought I'd better give you a word of advice. Even if you are representing the mayor at the end of the day, you are still all civilians. We cannot have you wandering around here in the middle of our investigation. Who do you think you're talking to? Your advice seems rather more like a threat. I'm just saying you need to know your place. But if you're so adamant about investigating the matter, then do it after we've cleared out of here. If we get any more trouble out of you, 
then I'm going to have to give you a personal invitation to jail again. Forget about it, Estelle. There's no use arguing with these gentlemen. Ha! Huh. For an ass and a lion skin, you sure know how to throw your weight around, Mr. Soldier. What did you just say? May I ask what's going on here? Who is that? Is that the... Wait, who is that? Colonel? For a soldier in the prestigious Royal Army to be threatening our good citizens? That is an outright embarrassment to us all. But these aren't just civilians, sir. These members of the Bra these are members of the Bracer Guild. Oh, is that so? Then I ask you once again, what is going on here? The army is supposed to be working closely with the guild. What do you intend to accomplish by being rude to our allies? But as far as the general is concerned, ah yes, that side of the general really concerns me. I'll take over the investigation from here. So please take your men and clear out. But uh, sir, your men have been here since early this morning, so I presume that a sufficient investigation has been conducted by now. Yes. I'll smooth things over with the general later. Is there anything else you wish me to address? No, sir. All right, men, pack it up. We're returning through the Hawking Gate. You know that guy in Final Fantasy... What is it? Final Fantasy uh, 8? The one that does like all the flips and that has like, like the, the mark on his face? This guy kind of looks like him if he had a mark on his face. I think it starts with a Z. Is it like Zeke or Zell or something? I don't remember his name right at this very moment. Looks like that's that. Seems like some of our personnel were rather impolite. Please allow me to apologize. Zell, yeah. I appreciate the jester. But we made some slightly <laughs> inflammatory remarks as well. So how about we let bygones be bygones? That suits me just fine. So I stated before, the army is supposed to be working closely with the guild. He looks just like him, doesn't it? Like, if he literally, all he needs is, is a mark on his face, and he is, he's good to go. I think our two organizations working together grants us each the ability to make up for the other's shortcomings. I'm looking forward to any progress you made with this recent series of events. Thank you. We'll do what we can. He seems like a decent guy. Yeah, I wonder who he is. Colonel, it's almost the appointed time. Oh, already? Excuse me. But it appears I must take my leave. Oh, but before I do, looks like I haven't properly introduced myself. I am Alan Richard, a colonel in the Royal Army. If there's anything I can do to assist you, please don't hesitate to contact me. Richard. Alan Richard. Colonel Richard, I feel like I haven't heard that name somewhere before. I feel like I've heard that name somewhere before. Now is the one who mentioned his name earlier. He said something about him being a sharp young officer who leads the Royal Army's Intelligence Division. All right. Wow, for someone in the military, he sure knows how to listen to others. Hmm, probably his mid-30s. And he's not hard on the eyes either. Oh my gosh, Sherizard. Seems like he's more fit to be a politician than a service member in the army. Hey, you guys. Who was that you were just talking to in the black uniform? I can swear I've seen him somewhere before. Are you trying to tell me, me you didn't recognize him at all? That was Colonel Richard of the Intelligence Division. You know the guy you mentioned earlier? Oh my gosh, now I was going to chase him out. Oh my gosh. What? You're not pulling my leg, are you? As fun as that would be. Nope. He says so himself, so I'm fairly confident he is who he says he is. To think that the legend himself would show up here. We can't wait around here like this any longer, Dorothy. Let's see if we can catch up to him. Aye, aye, sir. As I'm really not sure why we're chasing after anyone. He's like, I need my scoop. Did you see his eyes light up? I wonder if he's going to do an interview or something. Aha, uh -huh. anyone else in the army would brush him off, but I'm sure the colonel will oblige him. Hmm. What's the matter with you, Oliver? Or Olivier? I keep calling him Oliver instead of Olivier. You look serious, and I cannot, and I gotta say, I find it creepy coming from you. I was just thinking about the colonel. I'll be the first to admit that he's quite the specimen of a man. But, but what? I can say with confidence that he doesn't stand a chance against me when it comes to the ladies, but I'd like to see him try just a little harder. It's no fun without a romantic rival. I, I don't know why I didn't see that coming. I, 
I really don't. You just had to ask, didn't you, Joshua? I regret it for the rest of my life. <laughs> All right, let's see here. Now that the soldiers are gone, how about we resume our own investigation? Let's start by talking to all the people we couldn't talk to earlier. Good idea. I don't know why I didn't see that coming from Olivier. I really didn't. Um, but we we talked to them already. We, did, we couldn't talk to them, though, right? No, we could talk to them. We couldn't talk to these people. Wait a second, though. Am I able to go south? Oh, never mind. Okay. I'm trying to make sure I don't miss that quest that we have on the, the bulletin board. Yeah, right, Netrick? I was like, I was doing the same thing. I'm like, hold up. Wait a minute. Oh, wait, hold up. I'm going to check the board again. Nope, I can't check the board either. Okay. Okay. I got to check the board. I got to check. I got to check everything because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to miss my BP again. I, I, I can't wait till I miss chapter four of this one. Because I didn't travel across the universe. Oh, dear me. Were you the bracers who came to ask questions not that long ago? Oh, right. We did come before. I'm really sorry I couldn't talk to you then. So what you came to ask you about is what happened last night, right? Yes, that's right. Is this a good time for you? Yeah, this is a good, as good a time as any. It was the middle of the night, you see, when I heard a noise coming from outside. And I, of course, thought it was my husband coming home at such a late hour. So I opened the door and started yelling. But it turned out to be a group of masked men coming out of the horrible factory across the road. I thought my heart was plum. So going to stop right then and there. Although it turned out the burglars were rather surprised and ran away to the north. I see, so it was the Sky Bandits, huh? So, what you're saying then is that this house didn't incur a loss of any kind. Yeah, thanks to the mercy of the goddess. Can I ask you another thing? Did your husband coming home late mean that he went to the bar? If it was only that, that would be forgivable. In addition to being a no-good drinker, he's obsessed with this. Cicel raised her hand in a casting motion. Hmm? Oh, I get it. You mean fishing, right? I see now. That's right, he loves fishing more than life itself. He was out fishing? Just yesterday he said something about catching some smelt and took off to the lake in the south. On top of that, he still hasn't come back. Huh. So what you're saying is, he doesn't know anything about the incident. That's exactly what I'm saying. And when that good-for-nothing husband of mine gets home, he's going to get what for, let me tell you. Hi, honey! I'm home! What comedic timing. Ooh, what a day I had! I was fishing patiently all morning, but I have nothing to show for it. Oh, what's this? Do we have guests? You see now, old man. My goodness, woman. What kind of fiery tempest has gotten into you? Don't you know it's rude to act like that in front of guests? If anyone's being rude, that would be you. I'm done, Fonda, that my own husband can just take off to do what he likes at a time like this. Uh... What do you mean? What do you meant by a time like this? Maybe I should explain. Joshua gave Mr. Kuano a brief explanation regarding the burglaries which transpired the previous night. Burglaries by Sky Bandits? You don't say. Now th that is terrible. But to think that they hightailed it out of here after my wife hollered at them is hilarious. <laughs> Guess they got to experience the Cecil effect firsthand. What did you just say? Let's all calm down now, shall we? But to think that these sky bandits came in the night like they did, and then just disappeared like that. I wonder if it has anything to do with that thing he was talking about the other day. Ha! <laughs> he? What do you mean? Alright, you don't know him. He is my fishing buddy. He's sitting at the end down the lake shore to the south of here. If I remember right, he said something about seeing a strange bunch near the place the other night. A strange bunch. Now this sounds really interesting. He tell us a little bit more about what you've heard. Sure, I don't mind, but I'm just going to tell you up front that this is all hearsay. From what I heard, he just happened to see them by chance as he was out fishing during the night. He saw them leave by way of the inn's front door, and then out onto the road. However, when he asked around at the inn in the morning, it turned out that no one like that had stayed there the night before. Okay. Yeah, that is rather odd. So was there any type of burglary at the inn? No. Nothing of the sort at all, in fact. It's quiet there. The mills are great, and it's, well, a place I'd recommend to anyone. But best of all, it's a prime fishing spot. I wonder if we can fish in this game. Though there weren't any definitive clues related to the incident, we did manage to hear a few interesting bits, I concur. I especially like the one that described all the delicious food at the end. That's not what we're talking about here. 
Although I did find the fishing part to be rather interesting. Unfortunately, if there's nothing going on there, then I guess it wouldn't be worth investigating. Actually, I think it's quite the opposite. Uh, yeah, I think it is worth investigating. If someone had been careless and caused a problem, the army would have thoroughly investigated it. Conversely, the possibility of the Sky Bandits appearing where there's nothing happening is rather high. Oh, well, I guess that's one th way to think about it. In light of this series of incidents, there's either a spy in the army or the Sky Bandits are a really clever bunch of thieves. It'll be extremely difficult to corner them only by investigating the incidents which have occurred. We'll need to get one step ahead of them by tracking their movements. I see. So what you're saying is that we should take an offensive stance rather than a defensive one. Hmm. Then how about we get going? Off to the beautiful Valyria Lake, extolled in many a rhyme as the Pearl of Liberal. I was going to remind but didn't want to tell him how to play the game. Causing, I'm fine with stuff like that. It's more about, that, that's not, it's, it's not that, it's not that, it's not that. It's more about, hey, what you should do is instead of putting this eagle eye here, you should put the attack one here. Because attack one would be better to have there than eagle eye. It's like, let, let, let me figure that out, please. But, I, I, I know, I know, I know. But let's see. Gosh, this is going to be a blight on the bracer board, or bracer guild board for the rest of my life, ain't it? So sad. So, so sad. Okay, we're gonna go beat this person, though. First, a monster known as an amber turtle has been spotted roving the new Ansel Path. Okay. We're gonna do both of these. I'm not even gonna, like, risk it. We're gonna do both of them right now. That big old red- Right? It, it, it ha Why didn't it just disappear? Just, like, let me not know about it. Let me just not know about it, right? Let me have just gone to the board and not realized that I missed the quest. No. It has to make it in big, fat, red letters for me. Alrighty. So, on New Ansel Path, they said that there was a... A boss here or something. And then the other one... What's the other one? Wait, why do I have two quests? Oh, this is... Okay, I get it. I get it. So this is the one for the creature. And this is the stolen ring. Is this also down here? Quite value to me. So if anyone happens to find it, please let me know. I live on Bose South Block. Hold up! How am I supposed to find a stolen ring? Do I have the ring? Hold up, wait a minute. Do I'm supposed to just randomly come across a stolen ring. You almost checked the board the Wait, so I think as I later watched your previous stream and from the very beginning you were like, I don't want to miss anything. I almost checked the board at the point the quest is available. Really? No way. Don't tell me that. Oh my gosh. I was that close. Can't do the stolen ring quest. You will need to collect it later in this chapter and turn it in at the start of chapter two. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Talk to them to get the details. Just like click away to see it. No! I tried. Talk to them to get details on the location. I think... It doesn't look like I can get details on the location, though. Maybe I could... I mean, I, I'll go try to talk to them. But it doesn't look, look like I can get details on the location of the ring. It looks like they it just got stolen. So, who... Who, who, got, who got it stolen, though? Was it them? Really hope the city will settle down soon. The stock, uh, the stock market's cooling down, and at this rate, I'm going to show a big deficit this month on my financial report. Oh, isn't this game timely? Just when I had beaten out the Trinos last month, too. Yep, isn't this game timely? But still, I feel like I'm going insane without Trino being here in Bose. We've been fighting since we were kids, so it's weird not having him around. And though he's a business rival, we seem to have this strange sense of solidarity. Solidarity. 
I'm actually pretty proud of the fact that the two of us built up trade like we have in both say. Haha, though I'm sure if he heard this, he'd laugh off the notion. Um, hmm, I wonder when I should tell my parents about wanting to enter the Royal Academy. Unfortunately, right now doesn't seem to be a good time. Yeah, where is this ring at? Who lost their ring? I don't know who lost their ring. Was it you? Your mother's been always out and about, but da da da. Please come home safely. Uh, who lost their ring? It's a South Block, right? Is it this person? Did you lose your ring? I had a very important ring taken by me. Taken by them. I don't care if the armories or the Bracer Guild. I just want to see those burglars caught. These Sky Bandits are on the loose. I don't know. I don't think I can live without being in the fear every day. Okay, yeah, it's her. Is there any, like... Secret stuff? I wonder if my dad will come home soon. My mom looks really upset about something. Why are all the men absentee fathers in this game? Literally. They're all like, we wish our husbands were home. Like, everyone in this town is like that. God. That kid nearly trapped you there. He did. No! Stupid gelatin creatures. Oh, they don't do any damage to me. So they get more damage by fire and whatever, but... Honestly... Wait, should I even use that ability? No, I think I should just use craft, shouldn't I? Divides after being wounded. Uh, maybe I shouldn't use crafts. Oh, actually, no, it's fine if I use crafts. It's dead. He can use Firebolt, right? Yeah, that should be enough to kill it. I haven't used Airstrike in a bit. So, forms a temporary shield. How? Okay, this is a targeted one. An Earth Wall. This is a small radius. Oh, gosh, dang. You could only use it like that. Okay. This is Stone Hammer, Petrify Breath. Stone Impact. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, you can't target it. Like, some of these you, you can target like this. Other ones you can't. Other ones you're just, like, forced to use it on someone specific. Like, Lottier, you're forced to use it on a person. Hmm. Okay. I'm just gonna move and wait. There we go. Enjoy the show. But I do want to do something then. If, like... Tactics, character position... Yeah, because I feel like if he really... Can't get hit by Earth Wall unless he's close. I kind of want to put him here, don't I? I don't want him to be too far back. I don't know where this creature is on this path. It should be pretty easy to find, I would think. This is a big path, right? Or it's a pretty straightforward path, at least. What is that thing? Oh, no, I fought that thing already. That's just a regular... Oh! Why is my tail so long? Um... Let's go this way first to see if it's over here. Excuse me, little buzz buzz. Excuse me, little buzz buzz. Uh, okay, little buzz buzz aren't it. Oh, is that... Is that it? I'm doing the whole saving on a new file every single time. Exterminate. It was right in front of our face. Oh! What? Dude, he just walked... Just walked on around. Walked on around like nothing happened. Earth wall. Wait, I don't know how to do this. I don't know how this works. Wait, is, La is Law Tier better? Can I hit more people? Oh, I can hit more people with Law Tier. I think I should use Law Tier here. 
Um, how do I beat these things? What? He's gonna move though, that's the issue right now. They're gonna move, and then I can't hit him. The Bradley Friends of Casting of Arts. These two won't move at least. Maybe I, I'm gonna focus on this one and hope that the other one will move up into the range for it. Charizard, let's do... Ooh, lightning! I want to see if I can, like, actually hit multiple. It never happens this now. I'm gonna do aerial. So stupid how this works. I'm gonna hit here. I feel like we're getting, like, surrounded right now. Boom. Oh shit, that, I forgot that they're strong against wind. Oh, that was bad of me. That was really bad of me. Okay, that one's already fainted. I don't even want to hit the fainted one, really. Oh, but they're they're all moving now, right? Hmm. Yeah, let's hit these ones. Let, let's hit the one back here. Come on, just don't kill him. Should I use Anti-Sept? I don't know. Sylvan Guard, maybe? On Joshua? But Joshua can't get hit no more. Let's use... Use another Tira. Or I can use La Tira again. I think I should use La Tira. Oh, I, I shouldn't have used La Tira there. Chaos Brand. Maybe Chaos Brand is good. Then they all just attack each other and kill each other. This seems so good. Oh, if only I had something to to make use of the uh, Sibith up. Let's go take this one out. <laughs> oh, gosh, I, they don't take any damage from uh, spells. Whoops. Or from non-spells, at least. Okay, these ones are already hit. Let's take this one out, I guess. Let's hear again. Oh, yeah, let's do this. Chaos Brand again. It is so funny, though, that you can actually, like, get them to attack each other. So, Blair. Take this one out. So, Blair. Hit this one. Earth Wall! Yeah. Not gonna take any damage now. Oh, and then they attack the one that doesn't have Earth Wall, of course. Of course, that's how this works, right? That's so cool. Earth while you literally take no damage at all. Let's use Tira on Joshua. I don't want to use their their ability though. Oh, they they're weak against fire, right? So I can just use fire against this guy. And last Sobler. Yeah. That wasn't as bad. It's kinda it's, it's kinda easy because we have a full team now, right? Cause yeah. Cause we have a full team, it wasn't that bad. Okay. Well, I got that quest done. Have you explored Ambril Tower already? That slow move to the back was awesome just to attack. Yeah. Um, I have explored Ambro Tower already. Okay, so here's the... Uh, is this even the appropriate position? Because what I feel like is maybe I should just move him back. 
Because him being up front, he just, like, they just zooped around and attacked him immediately, right? I don't want them to zoop around and attack him immediately like that. And let's put them closer. Something like this. So then if I'm using my AoE abilities, then it's like more likely I'll hit them all. And that way they also don't have to be like super up close and stuff at the same time. Okay. <laughs> so this is the north shore of Valyria Lake, huh? Certainly seems peaceful and quiet around here. The inn doesn't look too shabby either. I stayed here once before when I was in the area on another job. The wine's great. The rooms are nice. Pretty much what you'd expect from a place like this. Too bad this isn't a pleasure trip. You mean it's not? <laughs> I at least intended to toss my cares to the wind for a while. Taking cat naps in a rocking boat by day and filling my belly with food and wine by night. Heaven. This is what a vacation is all about. Haha, <laughs> come on everyone. I was just joking. I, I I had no clue he was joking. No clue. We can enjoy a vacation anytime, but now is the only time we can enjoy taking care of some would-be thieves. Even I. Olivier dude, this guy says his own name. Olivier Linheim. Know enough to get my priorities straight. I don't think this has anything to do with enjoyment or not. Heh. <laughs> well whatever, as long as he does his share of the work he's here to do. Let's see if we can find the old man staying here that loves fishing. The guest who said he saw some suspicious indi individuals here too nights ago, right? This is this is this guy's so extra. Dun, 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 dun. So I'm guessing he's probably fishing somewhere, right? So this is what I'm gonna assume. Is that him? Um, could I ask you something? Wow, he's not responding at all. He must be really into his fishing. Hmm, so this is what a fishing maniac looks like, huh? They seem like a unique breed. Not, e not as unique as you are, that's for sure. Can I talk? Dude, come on. The man seems to be concentrating on his fishing. Can I Dude, really? I literally can't even talk to this guy. Huh. Mother and I come here every year on vacation around this time. It's tradition in our family. My mother seems to look forward to it every time. I kind of feel bad for my father, though, as he always gets left behind. The Kingfisher Inn in Bose and the Maple Leaf Inn in Zuss are my favorite places to stay. Oh, are, are we going to see the Maple Leaf Inn in the future? That'd be cool. Welcome to the Kingfisher Inn. Are you all here to stay? Let's see. Yes and no. How should I put it? We're here looking for a certain someone. Is there a guest staying here who loves to fish? Well, pretty much everybody who stays here loves to fish. We heard he was a friend of the old man who stayed here yesterday. Do you have a clue who that might be? Oh, are you talking about old man Kuano? If are talking about his fishing buddy, then I think you must mean Lloyd. Lloyd? I've heard he's a professional angler who came all the way here from the rural city. Seems as though he's a member of the Fisherman's Guild there. He sounds like a pretty amazing guy. They're saying he's that old man fishing out back. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he's the one you're talking about. You might be able to get his attention if you call his name out really loud. Okay, so now we know his name so we can actually talk to him. Hmm, okay. I wish we had, like, the recipes for this food, you know? But we don't. I mean, like, no, I, w I wish we had, like, the the ingredients for those foods, but we don't. Mm. Should I rest here? 80 Mira! God damn, this is an expensive place to rest. Fuck you. I don't need to stay there. Nightmare, yeah, I'm playing on nightmare mode. How you doing, uh, Baruna? Bro, wait, is it Ba... Runa? Aruna? How you doing? Um, excuse me. Are you the man named Lloyd who's from the rural city? Wow, he's really focused. He's tuned everything out of his mind but fishing. 
Looks like this is where my skills come into play. What are you? No! <laughs> Olivia! <laughs> Just sit back and enjoy. Olivia leaned over, and with a smile that left all kinds of things up to interpretation, blew into the man's ear. This, this is getting a little, um, a little romantic. Oh, my goodness! What in the... <laughs> Who are you kids? And, and where did you come from? That was a dirty trick to play on him, Olivier. Yeah, that was pretty low. How do you do this evening, good sir? We tried calling out to you a moment ago, but we could see that, like a true professional, your attention was fixed upon your task. You're Lloyd, aren't you? Yes, that's right. But how did you know my name? Okay, did he just whisper his name into his ear or something? We heard from a certain old man about you. Do you have some time you could spare to speak with us? <laughs> I can't believe Olivier did that. I see, so you heard from Mr. Kuano, did you? Yeah, I saw that strange pair about two nights ago. I knew it. Could we get you to fill us in a little more on the details? Before that, are you all bracers or something? Is this somehow related to some sort of crime? You can't say for sure, but there does appear to be a possibility. Gotcha. In that case, I'll do what I can to help you out. It was the other night when I was out fishing on my boat. Okay, this guy who literally... You can't even get his attention without whispering his name into his ears or something noticed a bunch of people run off to go burglar stuff in South Jose like I don't I don't believe it returning to the end dead tired of a day of battling it out with this lakes guardian it had gotten late into the night and it was about the time when everyone at the end was asleep in their beds now hold on a minute what do you mean by this lakes guardian I'm glad you asked Guardian is a giant salmon that swims in murky depths of Illyria Lake. Oh, can we fight it? Has been feared king of the waters among fishing lovers for over a decade. Crap, I shouldn't have asked. Looks like you've thrown a log into the maniac's, onto the maniac's fire. Is it really that huge of a fish like you say? You bet your last mirror it is. And I've been chasing the darn thing for the last five years of my life. It comes and goes in different parts of Illyria Lake and changes its feeding spots on a whim. I heard from a buddy of mine that it had appeared in these parts, so I came a running from the royal city. Ah, now that's what I call passion. I can completely understand from where you're coming from. Whenever I find something I like, I stop at nothing until I get a hold of it. For example, a bottle of Grand Chardonnay and such. In your case, still it is more <laughs> accurate. <laughs> How about we get back to our story? So Lloyd, what happened when you came back from fishing that night? Oh, right. I'd returned the boat and was on my way into the inn when I saw an odd couple head out into the road from the grounds behind the building onto the road in the middle of the night. Yep, no doubt about it. They headed out on the new Ansel path. At first I thought they were a group of people visiting from the city heading back home, but it was way too late for something like that. When I asked at the inn the next day, nobody knew a thing about it. Thought maybe I'd seen a couple of ghosts or something then. A ghost? The th there are ghosts that come out of here? Uh, just so you know, the two I saw were a young couple. They might have been two lost souls who committed a double suicide after not being accepted by those around them. Don't tell me any more. What what's going on? Oh, brother. A bracer that's afraid of ghosts. The guild is doomed. Not to mention her habit of always wanting to hear more ghost stories and other bizarre stuff. Now, now, isn't your being scared attractive in its own right, Estelle? Not sexy, but cute, nonetheless. Done it again. Like a little kitten shivering in the cold. You'd better watch out because this little kitten bites. Haha. <laughs> well, I was just kidding about the ghost part. But the couple did, in fact, seem to be one with a purpose and reason. I saw this because the girl was wearing some rather odd clothing. What do you mean by that? I only saw her from behind, so I couldn't say for sure. But it looked to me like she was wearing some kind of school uniform. Oh, is it Josette? School uniform, it couldn't be. Why would Josette still be wearing the school uniform, though? It wasn't one from the Genesis World Academy, was it? Wow! You really know your stuff, kid. You betcha! My niece goes there as well, and it looks exactly the same as the one she wears. I see, the whole event just got a little, a lot more interesting. It's her. I know, it's that lying tomboy for sure. We've... Finally onto her trail. 
What, so she's an acquaintance of yours? Then while you're at it, tell the two of them not to fret and rush into anything they'll regret later on. Mine isn't failing me. Could have sworn they said something about coming again tonight. Coming back? Is that true? Yep, we'll meet back here in two days is what the young man- Wow, we're just gonna wait for them. This time seemed rather serious, so I couldn't help but think on it. Well, that's understandable. We appreciate the valuable information. Just leave the rest up to us. We won't let them get into any more trouble than they already are. Oh, I see. That's a relief to hear. I feel like a weight's been lifted off my shoulders now. Now that that is off my chest, I feel like taking a boat out and fishing again. Well, there's no time to lose. I'll leave you young into your work. Man, I don't want to measure up when it comes to that fishing nut. I mentioned something about a fisherman's guild, too. I wonder what kind of group that is. Maybe we need to go to the fisherman's guild in order to be able to fish. How is this couple involved with the missing airliner incident exactly? If you don't mind telling me, that is. Well, in a nutshell, Jer explained that they encountered Josette and Roland. I see. That seems to be the person in the question, all right. Which means that tonight is the night, huh? Yep. Looks like we should probably get in a room in just in case. We're going to be in for a late night tonight. All right, let's go ask the receptionist about a room. Let's hope that it was just his name. Oh my gosh. If it wasn't, that'd be so bad. Zelda's getting gross if she stays. Dude, they dig things so deep in this game. They like don't let up. I was even telling my friend yesterday about like calling a girl cute isn't something you never want to do. Unless, like, if they're wearing something cute and it's literally cute, then sure. But that's, like, the, the weakest compliment that you can give a girl. Like, it's like, ugh. Uh, can we just talk and say for free? Will you be staying here with us tonight? Yeah, that's the plan. Hold on, Estelle. If there's anything that we haven't taken care of, we better do it now. I don't want to head back to Bolse after we've gotten a room. Um, I guess you're right. Oh, hell no, I'm not getting that. I'm not missing some some fishing rods propped against the rack. Anything in here I need to check out? Any rings in the rooms that were left behind by the thieves? Like, it's like, now hold up. Wait a minute. I'm running back to town. I don't give a fuck. We got places to be, things to do. Let's save here. Yeah, we're, we're gonna run back to town and check on the board. I'm like, wait up, hold up. There, there's no way we're missing something again. Oh, it's stupid creatures. Leave me alone, please. Oh my gosh. They beat the shit out of me. I never want to see a red fella get in my life. Are you serious right now? I'm gonna end up taking- I'm gonna end up dying by the end of this. All I'm doing is trying to run up. But I have a save point that's not here, so I, I can just like, load back up the save. Afterwards. Okay. We're going to the board now. Okay, there's nothing new here. Okay, there, there's nothing new here. Woo! They got, they got, they got me scared. Good, right, it looks like you managed to achieve your objective. Come back again if you have anything else to report. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. There's nothing here. There's nothing here! And, and, and you can report the quest whenever, right? So it doesn't matter. As long as you finish it, at the right time. They, they, they got my heart a thudding. Alright, let's stay. Okay. Get a room. Alright then, please come with me, I'll show you to your room. I think you won't miss it either, but not sure. Wait, does it matter if you... When you report the quest.
I don't think it does. This is where you'd be staying. I think it's alright. Okay, I will leave you here. So please, relax until dinner is served. This is quite a nice room. It has a certain atmosphere that you just don't find back in the city. Yeah, it's great, huh? Wasn't that expensive either. Hmm. What to do now? How about we relax until it gets dark? What a nice idea. I'd be more than happy to do just that. But is it really okay to take it easy? Rest when you can. That's part of a bracer's job, too. This is our free time. So let's enjoy a meal. Take a stroll and something else. Or something else. Wow. What a picturesque view. The entire lake looks like it's glowing. Too bad we can't see the rural city on the opposite shore because of the haze. But from here, it's easy to tell that this is the biggest lake in the kingdom. This lake is like a fisher's dream come true. I bet it'd be a blast to throw a line in those waters. And how about it? It might be a nice change of pace for one, for you. Yeah, maybe I will. What are you going to do, Joshua? Me? Um, let's see. There's a book I've been meaning to read, so maybe I'll just sit in the, that chair and relax. How old are you again? Only geezers talk about sitting back and relaxing. Young boys are supposed to get go get to get out and move their bodies. Aha. Uh -huh. I'll leave that part to you. This sometimes can be such a drag. Oh well, I should hurry up and decide on a fishing spot. Hmm. Somewhere around that pier looks like it might be a lucky spot for bites. Oh, I only have Estelle. Um... Do I need to run all the way back? Wait, what? Is this? Is this Joshua? Joshua's sitting down here! Aren't you going fishing? That pretty looks like a nice spot. Tisk. How about you try too, Joshua? You're not so bad yourself, you know. Just not as good as you. I think I'll just sit here and watch it all the- if all the fishing practice has paid off. Okay. So I'm guessing we're supposed to go over here where the other guy was. What? What? Where am I supposed to go? Like at first I thought they were talking about here, but then there's nothing here. Do I need a fishing pole? Do I need a chum bucket? I am so confused right now. Hmm. I'm so confused. Shira's Arden and Olivia are having a drink of chilled fruit wine together. Shira, should you start drinking again when it's only noon? No matter how light the liquor is, drinking too much is bad for your health, right? Don't worry, this stuff is just like water. Stell, something we all need to take a breather. I understand your concern for Shira, but you can leave her to me. When, she, when But when Shira drinks, she gets naked and dances on tables. Actually, Shira's not the one I'm concerned about. By the way, Estelle, what happened to Joshua? Did you dump- Did he dump you or something? Yeah, actually he did. Really? Invite him to come fishing with me, but he brushed me off for a book. Don't you think that's a little cold-hearted? What? That's it. You had me going there for a minute. I invited Shira for a friendly drink, and she readily agreed. Seems as though she's finally been taken in by my charm. That brash self-confidence may cost you your life. Ugh, after she get wasted, I'll be the one to take good care of her. It's scary how much she doesn't know. Dude, she's gonna bring out the whip. I guess you've liked fishing ever since you were a kid, haven't you, Estelle? Even though it's usually a hobby for boys. It shouldn't matter if I'm a boy or not. I like the things I like. Okay. They've already talked about this. They already talked about this. 
<laughs> he doesn't know. Okay, there we go. Now we can fish. Yes, this looks good. Definitely the best spot. Hee <laughs> hee. Now let's see about casting a few lines. Crap, I don't have a fishing pole. What if somebody at the inn has a spare I can borrow? Okay, now I can get the fishing pole. You think I missed a book? You're lying. Did I just miss it? Hmm. Got some good fish in today, so please look forward to your meals. Hmm. Do you have a fishing pole I could borrow? Yes, of course we do. They're right over here, and they're free to use for anyone lodging here. Wow, really? Score. This is pretty nice. Just before staying in the inn? But I talked to people. Alright then, I'll put it to good use. Please enjoy yourself. Like, what? Oh, are you staying here too? Let's enjoy this wonderful place together. What was for dinner today? I'm so excited, I can hardly wait. Someone on Bose Market has it? You literally need a guide in order to get the books. There's no way you can get those books without a guide. There's no way you can get, like, these missable quests without a guide. There's zero. It's zero. Zero percent chance. Wait, what? So I think I should run back to town with just Estelle. You got all of them but one without a- how? How did you end up doing that? Did you just like, go out of your way to talk to like, everyone in the game after every interaction? Speaking with everyone, yeah. Yes, this looks good. Definitely the best bot. Hee <laughs> hee. Now let's see about casting a few lines. And did, and even then I missed the one at Hawking Gate. Yeah, okay, okay, I see. I see. See, from this pier, which would be the best place to drop a line. West around the pier, to the south where the sun is hitting the water, to the east where the shade reaches. I don't know how to fish. I'm guessing it's not around the pier. Do fish like the sun? Maybe they want to be in the shade. The sun, the sun it might be too hot for them. Right around here looks nice. Come on, fishy, fishy, fishes. Now what should I do about bait? Use a fly. Use life bait. I'll just use a lure. Alright, let's sit back and relax and see what we come up with. The books are worth it, but it's up to you. But then I have to, like, literally go way back. Oh, before staying in the end, I have to do it. Okay, maybe I can't go back. It's not that far. This is a critical flaw. How should I bring it up? I don't know. I'm not aiming for 100%. I don't want to, like, keep having to go back. I'm just aiming for nightmare mode. Reel it in all at once. Wait a bit before reeling it in. Wait until it gets tired before reeling it in. It would be before you go to the south shore, actually. You have to go to a magazine stand in Bose. Wait, before I go south shore, is that where I'm at right now? Wait a bit before rolling it. Wait until it gets tired before. Uh, you gotta wait until it gets tired. All right, let's see what we got. So before I enter this area to begin with, okay. Wait, a little fishy. Joshua's going to make fun of me if he sees this. Should I just eat it now to hide the evidence? Let's see. What should I do now? Continue fishing. Wonder what, what I should do. Change fishing spot. Hmm, I wonder where the best spot to fish is. Okay, let's go where the sun is. I wonder if it matters which way you do this. Use light bait this time. Sweet, I got a bite. Now this is the critical part. How should I bring it up? Just wait until it gets tired before reeling it in. Huh. 
I got boots. I'm gonna stay on the same spot. I'm gonna use the lure this time. You're supposed to get it before the burglaries, even? Wow. Another pair of boots. Wait, no, I want to keep fishing there. I'm trying to find something other than boots here. Use a fly this time. Okay, let's 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 just use a fly. I don't know how like a fly would work, but okay. Mm. Oh, I got smell again. You know what? What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change fishing spots to the west around the pier, and then I'm just gonna do everything. I'm just gonna do everything. I'm just gonna do every single option that, that we have. Use a lure, catch it every single way, in every direction, and see if we can get everything. Because I'm I don't mind collecting a bunch of food here that I can use in the future. Get a Gyarados. Okay, I got a smelt with a lure there. Uh, we're still using a lure. We gotta go through every option for lure. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna go back though. Because I don't want to, um,. I'm gonna end up doing that, like, a lot in this game, then. I feel, because I've already missed, like, a bunch of stuff. Unless there's, like... Ugh. Yeah, because then I have to come back here and fish again. I have to go through all that again. It's gonna end up taking me, like, 20 hours. I already missed a quest, like... I feel like in order to do that, I would have to like 100% this game. I'd have to play it with a guide, and I don't. I don't really want to play it with a guide. Um, Wayne Tail gets tired before reeling it in. Uh, this time we gotta wait until it gets tired, right? Okay, and then now we gotta do the other other option. We gotta put on the, uh... Live bait this time. Can, can you even catch the legendary fish the guy was talking about? Okay, I got smelt. If you can catch the legendary fish, it's probably some weird, uh, some weird actions that you have to do. Probably like A A B Y X Y B. Um, right a bit for reeling it in because I think I already did the fast wave, didn't I? Tiger rockfish, cool. Wow, this one's a biggie. I believe a little bragging may be in order. Boom. That's like the best fish I got so far, I think. I like how we have unlimited bait. Wait a little bit. Okay, another liberal carp. Wait! No, I can't keep fishing? Man, it's already starting to get dark. I guess I ended up with a pretty good catch after all. No, I didn't get Gyarados. Check this out, Joshua. Look what I caught. Huh? Wait, where'd Joshua go? 
Joshua? What's this? The book. Hundred Days War seems to have been left on the table. Estelle picked it up. Wonder if Joshua just forgot about this. For being so sharp, he sure can miss things sometimes. Guess I'll just have to take it to him myself. Then again, I wonder where he could have taken off to. Huh. What? But, oh, then again with the books! I was reading the books, wasn't I? Oh my gosh. Yo. Maybe I shouldn't read the books. I didn't want to, I don't want to read a book. I haven't read this one. I read these two, though. Did you guys read every book in this game? Um, where's Joshua at, though? That's Charizard. Where's that guy? Can I make any new food now? That I just caught a bunch of fish? Bear claw. Tiger rockfish. Ooh, deep fried smelt. Boom. Cool. So you can hold your liquor, can't you? Hee hee hee. Think I've changed my mind about you. Oh my gosh, look at Sherizard's face. Come on now, drink up. Hold on, Shira. Don't you think we're getting a little ahead of ourselves with this face? Good interview with the knights. What are you whining about? Come on and drink. You third rap musician. Why are you saying that you can't keep up with me? <sighs> Estelle. Don't just sit there and watch. Do something. Sorry, bud. Once she gets started, there's no stopping her. But you don't have to worry. Shira never gets plastered. Oh, uh, should you be worried about me? <laughs> you messed up. Is this, she always like this? Whatever she's on the job, she manages to behave herself. But when it comes to having a drink, even my dad can't keep up with her. Is that the case? At any rate, I'm kind of interested in seeing her go wild. Or am I going to pass out from the drinks first? Things are trying to get heat up in here. Maybe I should just strip down naked. Take off anything else. We're really going to be in trouble. Oh no, Shirazard. Shirazard. Okay. So if I look at my save files, right? So I would have to do it before, I would have to do it like around here, right? Literally like 10 minutes ago. The books are sort of important. Yeah, I would have to do it like here. Actually, it's not even 10 minutes ago. If you look here, this is this would be my save now. It'd be 30 minutes. I'd have to replay this game for 30 minutes. Just for the book. I think what I'll do is I'll just read the book later. You know, I I I I, I can totally just pick up a online guide and read the book, right? From this game, where's Joshua though? Is he in the room? Yeah, because I'm pretty sure I'm gonna end up missing like a ton of stuff in this game. There's no way that I'm not. There's just too much stuff, and I I kind of hate how they did it that way. I don't- I don't hate how they did it that way, it just, you know, it's just the way it is. Careful with picking an online guide with the books. Why? Hey there, la laddie. An online guide with the- no, not an online guide, but not an online guide, I'm talking about like... What I would do is just, um... Read the books online. Are there spoilers if you read the books online? Later on? From this game? I don't think- after, after I beat the game, there shouldn't be, right? What are you doing whittling away the evening in a place like this? Aha, not much. How about yourself? Are you done fishing or are you heading back into battle? No, I've already had my fill. Sure has been a while since I did, though. Oh, that reminds me. Estelle held out the book she found on the table. And that's also my thing. I'm that's also why I don't really want to look at guides online while I'm playing the game, because I'm like worried that they're gonna spoil stuff. Make sure you do this and this at this location in the game, and then I'll be like, 
during the battle between the world kingdom versus blah 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 make sure that you do this at this part of the game and I'm like I didn't even know there was going to be a battle you said you were going to read but you ended up leaving your book on the table you should be more careful with your stuff oh that I actually finished reading it my eyes were starting to f fill up like like okay here, here's something else when Hawking Gate gets blown apart by the Arobian army make sure that you Go into the inn one last time to get the ninth book of Carnelia. And then I'm like, wait, Hawking Gate gets blown apart? <laughs> it's like, spoils. <laughs> My eyes are starting to feel a bit tired, so I thought I'd take a walk for a change. Liar. What? You're hiding your feelings again, aren't you? I can tell that's what you're doing. And besides, that's not really fair. You always find a way to cheer me up when I'm feeling down. And while I may not be as reliable as Dad, I can still give you a shoulder to lean on. Sorry. It's time like these when you should say thank you and not apologize. You may be smart, Joshua, but sometimes you don't seem to know what's most important. Aha. Uh -huh. You're probably right. Thanks, Estelle. Very good. And that wasn't too bad, was it? Oh, right. And in return, how about you play me a song in your harmonica? As you wish. Is the whereabouts of light good for you? He's gonna play his harmonica? Yep, that's the one I wanted to hear. What? Oh, it's this song. Oh, it's gonna get the attention of Lloyd? This is nice. I wonder why it is. And when I hear the sound of your harmonica in the evening light like this, it makes me want to cry. So you're still not going to ask about my past, I mean. We promised, remember? You were going to tell me when you felt like it, and I wasn't going to ask, right? And considering that five years have passed, it doesn't seem like it's such a big deal anymore. Yeah, it has been five years, hasn't it? How can you just live with me for that long and not have a million questions? That day, your father came home with this beat-up kid, some random stranger who never says a word about his past. Why'd you take him in like that? Well... Seemed like the obvious thing to do. Besides, your family now, Joshua. Maybe that's why he's like the time person. Because like, there's something about his past or his history that we don't know about yet. Like I said before, I know you pretty well. You love books. You're a weapons geek. And you've got a serious knack for just about anything that comes your way. You're kind and fair. But you've also got a way of not letting others inside by using politeness like a shield. Mm, now wait a minute. And you're caring. And lonely. Of course, I don't know everything about your past. If you want to make comparisons, I don't know a whole lot about Dad's past either. But it doesn't mean that he and I aren't family, right? Being a family for us has more to do with me knowing his personality, his habits, the food he likes. You know, the kind of things that only I would know firsthand. And you're no different, Joshua. You make it nearly impossible to argue with you. You know that. It's been like that since the first time we met. And you gave me that flying kick to the gut as I was lying in bed. Wounded, I might add. Um, did I really do that? Did she forget? She knocked him around. Yeah, injured and all. More than once. <laughs> sure it was just a bit of childish play. Um, blame dad for my lack of social graces. Yeah, sure. Nice excuse. He, she, like, jumped on him, like, three times. But anyway, Estelle. What? Let's make sure we solve this whole airliner mystery. I don't know if Dad's been captured or what. But let's resolve this with our own hands. Sure. That's exactly what I intend to do. Ha. <laughs> How about we head back to the inn? 
I'm sure supper is ready by now. Good idea. I'm starving. We need to eat our fill, so we're ready for tonight. Oh. That part of the- this part of the game was so sweet. Oh, we got- No, their EP isn't- Back up. Dang it. I'm a simple man. I hear the whereabouts of light, and I'm in. Hey, Dark Samurai, how you doing? No, that was so sweet. I didn't even know, like, Joshua played the harmonica like that. Oh, I almost forgot. This family bonding makes me feel like I shouldn't be here. Sounds so personal. <laughs> Shh. We just gotta be quiet and listen in. Here's your book, Joshua. Oh, right. Estelle held out the book she found on the table. I'm actually done with it. And at this point, it's just end up being bulk weight. Wonder what I should do with it. Can I read it? How about giving it to someone? Does this matter? Hmm. So this part of the game, I'm the type of person that says, can I read it? But I feel like we need to give it to someone else. I feel like we're going to get something by giving it to someone else. How about giving it to someone? It'd be kind of a waste to just chuck it. You're right. I'll do that. Do, wait, do I, do I still have it, though? Oh, no, I don't have it. Dang it. I didn't read the book. Whatever. Um, I'm actually going to take a quick bathroom break real quick. Um, save right here. And, uh, yeah, I'm gonna take a quick bathroom break. Do, do a quick little be right back. And then, uh, gonna grab an energy drink, because I think it should have arrived now. You are avoiding all the books? Wait! Did- Hold, hold, okay, here, 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 here. No, I wasn't sure if I gave it to someone else if I get a benefit from it. Do I? Here. Hold up, how, how do I go to autosaves? Wait. Don't worry too much, just play the game. I wasn't sure if we if we get something from giving like it seems like the type of thing that if you give it to someone else, they're gonna give you like something else in the future. Um so you're playing Trails in the Sky for the first time, that's a treat. Yes, first time. But okay. I'll be right back. I'm just gonna use the bathroom, then I'll be right back. That one is lore only. Okay, okay. Breaking Joshy's taking Josh's song. <laughs> Alright. Be right back. I know I'm a natural when it comes to dancing. How's it going? Um, so yeah, I was like running around my house looking for the energy drinks that I ordered and apparently uh, they're not gonna arrive now until like 3 p.m. today or something. They were supposed to arrive this morning. So I'm like, wait, what? <sighs> Nandayo? <laughs> So, by the time they arrive, I'm not even going to drink them, because then I would be like Marty and be up until 3 a.m. Alrighty. So, where were we at? I think we were heading back inside, right? Help a fellow out, I'm begging you. I, I can't take another drink. <laughs> well, I think I've just reconsidered my opinion of you, Olivier. Pretty rare for anyone to still be conscious after a night of wine with Shira. Oh, look at him. He's like, he's like, he's like, oh, he's like hunched over. Well, didn't the two of you come at a good time? How about having a drink together? You're both good for that, right? We're going to eat dinner now. So the answer is no. You, they're not even of age, are they? Come on, you two. When I say let's drink, we drink. You're going to take me very, you're going to make me very angry if you don't sit down for a glass with me. Oh, great. She's already reached stage two rage mode. 
There's stages? Don't worry, Shira. Olivier said he's good for another couple rounds. How about having him keep you company? Uh. <laughs> I guess Olivier's good for something. What? So you can still drink more, can you? Uh, uh, Joshua! How could you just give me to her like that? I can't. I can't. <laughs> don't you feel sorry for the poor guy? I don't know. Should I? Yeah. Like a little demon. And cute. At the same time, too. <laughs> At least the fish are polite here. Uh, I guess he'll be just fine. How about we sit at the counter? I'd hate to bother the two of them. Right, good idea. Dude, I feel so bad for Olivier. Please, Shira, I'm pleading with you. You and the fish. And the, don't pour me another glass. <laughs> oh. Yo, Olivier's gone. He's, he's gone. He's not gonna make it through the night. Sometimes I forget how funny this game could be. Dude, this game's hilarious. Oh, he's out. <laughs> he's not waking up tomorrow either. Oh, he's totally plastered. Looks like even a guy who takes his sweet time for everything couldn't stand up to a drunken Shira. Yo, don't we need him though? Aren't they supposed to be getting back tonight? What a night of drinking. I've been so busy lately. I haven't been able to enjoy myself like this for a while. And you're not even red in the face either from all that alcohol. Are you sure you haven't had some kind of <laughs> special training, Shira? Um, it could have been all the bizarre liquors I drank while I was in the troop. You know, like the ones with scorpions and asps in them. Might have built up my resistance that way. But who knows? Somehow I don't think that's the case. By the way, what do you plan on doing with him? He's pretty much useless as he is. Let's just let him sleep. He looks so peaceful now, and we wouldn't want to disturb him. There's a very high possibility that we'll have a direct encounter with the Sky Bandits tonight. And getting a civilian wrapped up in the middle of it all wouldn't be a good idea. Don't tell me, you. You got Olivier drunk so he wouldn't be able to come along, didn't you? Well, of course I did. And he'll thank me in the long run, too. After his raging eye hangover, anyway. And so that whole time, you were just touring with him, weren't you? Let's see, it's getting late. Let's hurry and begin our stakeout around the inn. Don't skirt around the issue, Shira. Quiet, you. For the time being, we're going to circle up to the far pier. Understood. All right, then. Let's go. What if that's the status effect next fight? The drunken Olivier? <laughs> yeah, let me see. Ugh. Shira, please. I can't take another. Dude, he's streaming about it. <laughs> He's dreaming about it. What the what? What's this guy doing? Lord is staring at an open map. It appears to be a map of Valyria Lake. There are hardly any structures on the west side, and I didn't get any bi many bites either. And all I'm getting on the east side are small sized fish. The gardens probably won't appear in either of those two places. West and east side. Oh! I guess the best thing I can do is to continue fishing from the shore. Got it. Maybe he's like telling you how you find the big fish. Good evening. Seeing another group of lodgers is something I enjoy. I'd love to keep company with you if that would be alright. My mother seems to be enjoying the atmosphere. I was the first person to recommend this inn to my mother. Now she invites me to come here with her every year. This is all the fishing poles. Oh, he's in a different spot. Are you going out? If you're going to fish at night, you're going to need an ornament light or you won't be able to see. That gentleman with you seems to have a drunk a lot. Is he going to be all right? If you would like, I could bring you some water. Um, I think he needs way more than just water. He needs like a few gallons of water. So we need to go to the pier. Oh wait, no, they said the far pier, right? So we got to go to the one that's way over here, right? Um, I don't see anyone. I don't know what kind of business those siblings could have here. But do you think they'll really show up? There's no guarantee, of course, but if Lloyd's information has any truth to it, my best guess is that they'll be here. However, if we move around too much, there's a possibility we'll be seen and they'll take off. This guy manager is supposed to come from the road. It might be a good idea to watch the area. Right, so where should we watch from? We need a place where we can see the road without being noticed ourselves. On top of the house? On top of the inn! 
A place like that would be ideal. So we should go to, to the top of the inn. And by that, I mean like just the ceiling. Um... I, I don't know if we can go to the ceiling of the inn though. Is that even a thing? Hey, what's that? Oh! <gasps> it was them! Well, it looks like we're a little early, huh? Yeah, it seems that way. You know, if this were in the middle of the day, we could have gotten ourselves a bite to eat on the way. Quit talking nonsense. We're outlaws, remember? Now, let's hurry up and get moving. Ah, uh, wait for me, Kyle. Time to ambush them. Should have known it'd be them. Looks like they're headed for the far pier. I wonder what they intend to do. Shall we take a look and find out? Let's try to get as close as we can without being noticed. I think they're gonna like try to take the boat out or something. Maybe we can like... Are they taking a boat out? Sort of figured they wouldn't be here yet. They always come exactly on time. Really hate those guys. They act like they're so superior and to be honest, they're kind of scary. No doubt about that, they are quite the clandestine bunch. I don't want to interrupt them, actually. I want to see what's going to, going to happen. But there's not much we can do about it. This is an order from the Dawn. This seems to be a good place. Yeah, we can hear every word they're saying, too. Hey, Kyle. Don't you think Dawn's been acting a bit strange recently? It's just not like him, if you ask me. You know, the whole hijacking of airliner thing. Well, I admit it was a lucrative. Now we've got the army clamping down on us on full scale. Not to mention those annoying bracers are now involved. And he's gone and taken hostages and demanded a ransom in return. No matter how I think about it, it seems like Dawn has gone way overboard this time. In the end, you'll always be just a girl. Deep down, you're just not cut out to run with the bad crowd. What? Excuse me? Okay. Maybe not the best wording, but I meant it as a compliment. Things are getting too tough for you. You're always welcome to try salvaging a life back home. It shouldn't be too hard to get by, as long as you don't set your sights too high. Although, admittedly, it is a bit colder than liberal. It, do you think you can just treat me like a kid, and I'm not going to get angry? So if it's colder than liberal, then it's probably up north somewhere, right? I'd like to see you get by without me. What with your crap cooking and all, not to mention the laundry, do you really want to go back to burnt toast and turning your underwear inside out? Better save the game before engaging in the- Oh! Well, actually, the autosave. The autosave got me. Hopefully. Uh, okay, okay. I see your point, and I really am sick of toast. Burnt or otherwise. But anyway, think about what I said before it gets too late to back out. Now, getting back to what you said earlier. I do have to agree that Don has been acting pretty weird. Does he expect us to just keep fishing for ransom? We should take what we can get. And I like to believe that Don is smart enough to see that. Don't you think he started acting strange about the time that guy showed up? That's the only thing I can think of as to why he started acting like this. Yeah, he was the one who introduced us to those other guys, too. He might have even gotten Don to buy into the, his ideas. I was like, who are they talking about? Who is that guy and he? That's certainly a good question. Uh, what's that over there? What's what? Looks like whoever it was, uh, they were waiting for finally showed up. What's that outfit? Looks like you made it. Oh, time on time as usual, huh? Hmm. Could have come a little early for a change, or even late. Definitely not my type, that's for sure. Black clad soldier. Say what you will, but we're trained to be punctual. Now, if that displeases you, then let me offer my sincerest apology. Trained. Relax, I was just being sarcastic. Now I know you guys are definitely not the type I want to be around. Enough already. We don't have time for that. Now, how about we get down to business? Have there been any other developments since last time? Yes, in fact, Her Majesty has finally made a move. She intends to contribute to this ransom from her own assets. So seriously? We're going to get paid out of the Queen's own pocket? I guess we're pretty close to getting the money then, right? How about the Royal Army? Is there any indication that they've figured out where our hideout is? Not yet, but it's only a matter of time until they do. We've received reports that members of the Bracer Guild are on the move as well. At any rate, on the morning of the payoff, you'll need to leave your your hideout behind. 
Yeah, no problem there. We just happened to run into the temporary shelter by chance. Don shouldn't have any regrets about it either. There are way too many suspicious types involved in this. What do we... What do you want to do, Shira? Should we just storm in? Shoot them all? Let Adio sort them out? Hmm. Got a much better idea. Better idea. These two siblings appearing here means that the Sky Bandit's airship is parked somewhere nearby. There's not much we could do if they got away again. So how about we try taking that out first? I see. Take away, take away their means of escape, right? I'm down for that. How about you, Joshua? Joshua? Oh, right. Take out the airship first, right? Yeah, I think it's a good idea, too. Why is Joshua's mind elsewhere right now? What's wrong? Your face looks pretty, really tense all of a sudden. It's nothing. Yeah, I'm sure it's just my mind playing tricks on me. We don't have much time. We've got to get going. We've got to get out onto the road and start looking for the airship before they finish their meeting. Okay. I'm going to save here. Yeah, because Joshua's been like... His mind's been elsewhere this entire time. Again and again and again. The fighter took the road in search of the location of the airship, and... It was by the Ambril Tower. Oh, we gotta take out these guys first? They're parked in front of the Ambril Tower, huh? This is definitely the place to land since it's off the main road. So what do you want to do, Shira? Should we subdue them? Hmm, that's one way to go about things. But there's more than double their number since the last time we encountered them. Don't worry, even with twice as many guys, they're no match for us. So how about we take them all out on at once? Hmm. I don't know if that's the best way to do go about thing. Did Olivia follow us? Olivia followed us. Sorry to keep you all waiting. Ollie? Keep it down. Or they're going to hear you. Well, isn't this a surprise? I can't believe you're standing here after the state you were in before. Your tolerance is impressive. Hey. Who do you think you're talking to? Rather than miss a minute of your fair company, I dutifully puked my guts up and dumped a bucket of cold water over my head. Voila! I was good to go. I don't know about that. I think I hear your liver screaming somewhere in there. That's some serious tenacity. Come on. Couldn't let you enjoy all the fun yourselves, right? I'd just come out of the inn when I saw you guys hit the road, so I came running from behind to catch up with you. I guess I went a little too easy on you. You and I are going to be fighting if you call... Aid, Adios, Aid, D, O, S, A, D, O, S. I don't, I'm just gonna call, I'm just gonna say Adios. I guess I went a little too easy on you. Maybe I should have had you down all that brandy at once. You'd have put me to sleep for good if you'd done that, Shira. But anyway, fighting the Sky Bandits here would lack a finesse, don't you think? I don't think that's the issue here. No, I'm serious. Even if you subdued them all and managed to arrest the two siblings, there's still a chance they won't tell you where their hideout is. They might even use the hostages as leverage to demand their release. Well, there's a risk involved with whatever course of action we take, or do you have a good plan on how we can avoid taking such a risk? Ha! Huh. Boy, do I ever. Listen up, everyone. Okay, but if you blow on my ear, I'm seriously going to punch your lights out. What I could do is jump on the ship, right? Wait. Oh, no. Okay. I thought we were dressed up as them. I thought we were dressed up as them. I thought it was Estelle and Joshua dressed up as them. Good to see you made it back. I didn't think you'd be gone so long. So talks long took longer than expected, huh? Yeah, but we're nearing an end with our negotiations. We also managed to get a great deal of information about what's going on with the Royal Army. So what you're saying is... Yep, we'll be getting the ransom money within a few days. We'll finally be one step closer to making our dream a reality. We did it. Sweet. Cool it down, guys. It's a little too early to be getting excited yet. For the moment, we need to get back to the hideout and report to Dawn. Alright, everyone. Pack up. Let's get out of here. Um, it sounds like... Adios in Spanish. Not sure if it's in if it's intentional. I don't know if it's supposed to, is it supposed to be Adios? Is that where it's supposed, instead of Adios, is Adios? The temperature, it's Aid? Okay, I'll just say Aid. Adios, instead of Adios. The temperature outside is 69.8 degrees with 15% humi humidity. There's a south, southwest wind blowing at a speed of 12 arch. 
There are no Orville reactions in the surrounding area. Looks like the army isn't patrolling here. Activate the Orville engine and begin transmitting Orville energy to each section of the airship. Aye, sir. Orville engine activated. Transmission of the Orville energy to all sections underway. Orville floater started. Orville driver started. Stabilizer all green. All right. Lift off. Aye, aye, sir. It was supposed to be Eidos, but it was changed due to copyright issues. Oh, because of like from Final Fantasy or something? Or like something else. Eidos. Eidos. I don't remember. Set the drive rate to 40%. Maintain um, cruising speed. However, make sure that we can switch. Oh, Eidos Company. Okay. However, make sure that we can switch to battle speed at any time. Aye, sir. Looks like we'll make it back before morning. Yeah, I'm ready for some serious shut-eye myself, but I've got to report to Dawn first. Is that us? No, okay, that's not us. I, th I was like, are we wearing a, a costume or something? Did you just hear something? No, I didn't hear anything. That's odd, I could have sworn it came from below deck. Beat him up. Maybe it's just a mouse or something. Okay, can we see anyone here? I can't see us here. Oh, we're under the steps. What? Okay. I'll have to clean up the place when I can find some free time. Oh, and there's a healing thing here too. So that's good. Hmm. We're in the mist valley. Wow, I was over at this location, too. So we're gonna- we're gonna... Storm their hideout. This is so cool. Boy, am I tired. Ever since we came here by night, uh, here my night and day have been completely reversed. We've got to tough things out a little longer, and then we can say goodbye to this horrible life. With Dawn as our leader, we can't go wrong. But don't you think Don's been acting a little strange lately? I mean, he's kind of scary to talk to these days. How about you knock that crap off? If Kyle or Josette heard you talking like that, they'd beat you upside the head. But it's just that. I'm sure you're just tired from lack of sleep. Let's hurry and finish up here and get some rest. You're welcome to take a rest now if you'd like. Is that Estelle? That's a. She's always, like, announcing herself. You, you're those. We, we could have snuck into the hideout. You're too late. We could have snuck into the hideout instead of doing it this way. And said no. We're gonna um go in head first, right? So they're a little bit weaker to spells, but it doesn't. It's not like enough weaker, I think. Oh no! Now I'm, I knocked them farther away from each other. They can't both get hit. Whatever. Um. Let's get this one low. I'm just gonna attack it. And then Chaos Brand on this one afterwards. How did it... How did you even run that far back? Oh, maybe they have to be closer. In order, to, in order to be confused, they have to be right next to each other or something? That would make sense. Dude, you need to run away, actually. I'm running you away. What? Go away. What does Flicker do? Wow, Flicker does make them lose their turn. That's so cool. And then I can heal them. Because they keep on attacking them for whatever reason. What, what's this crafts? Fires off several rounds in the blink of an eye. Oh, it's a medium range attack too. Yeah, I can use Firebolt, it doesn't matter. 
Then I can, like, flicker him again. Dude, Flicker's OP! Now that I'm actually seeing Flicker, it's OP. I didn't realize Flicker was that good. Oh, it looks like we were able to get in here without any trouble. I'm amazed that this little plan actually worked. I guess we all have you to thank this time. But seriously, I was getting pretty nervous. I wasn't sure that we were going to do if we got caught stowing away. Well, even if we were discovered, we'd just have to take control of the airship. And we would have had an advantage fighting against this lot in those tight quarters. Superior numbers mean nothing without space to maneuver in. Olivier, so you thought that far ahead. Taking all of these factors into account, huh? Not in a million years, are you kidding? I simply thought it would be fun to infiltrate an enemy base. Think we would have been better off if you said nothing at all? Give the poor man a break. At least we were able to get in here without incident. Anyway, this looks like somewhere in the Nibble Valley. The Nibble Valley? Like this one on the border of Bose and Roland. But that explains why it's so misty outside. This is definitely terrain covered with extreme differences in height, which prevent the landing of any large aircraft. Looks like you guessed was right, Shira. Yeah, well, it didn't seem to help us much in getting here. But anyhow, we don't have time to be hanging around here. We'll need to subdue the Sky Bandits and ensure the safety of the hostages being held captive. And of course, your father, Cassius too. Oh, is he? I wonder if he's actually going to be here, though. I wonder if he's actually going to be here. I've, I have a feeling he might not be, you know? Um, can we just make some food? Let's just cook some wholesome pasta. Tech delay is so good. Yeah, I think, it, especially if I'm going up against a boss, I think it would be really nice to start using it a lot more. I'll uh, save here. Because I haven't really been using it at all. Oh, let me look around here first before I run down. Okay, they're knocked out. They don't have anything here. Can I go on the ship? I wonder. Oh, wait a second. I just used food when I could have went down here and did this. You get multiple turns, I get none. Wow. Okay. Now I now I'm healed up. Um. Ooh. There's things here. What? There's this empty areas? And this a random monster? Wait, what? Why are these here? Why are these here? They give no experience either. Should I even fight them at this point? Let's, let's see if I flicker again. Flicker. So if I hit both of them, it like gets rid of their turns. Wow. Oh! That felt nice. That felt really nice. Sylvan whoop. So I can go over here and hit both of them with this whoop. Wow. Uh, what's their... They're weak against fire, though. Oh, I missed it. Chaos Brand against this one. Earth Wall! No, um... Sylvan Guard, probably. Huh. So did I do this? Yeah, I'll Earth, I'll earth, earth Wall. Ouch. That hurt. Flick here again. But can I flick it this way this time? Oh yeah, it gets rid of the bird's turn. That's crazy. Flick here's so good. Like, it's a like, crazy, crazy good. I can't believe that's even a thing. I can just tear her. I wish I had some kind of way to resurrect. 
But there's literally no way to resurrect. Stone Impact. I've never used Stone Impact. Let's just try it out. Boom. 24 experience! So once you kill everything, you get some experience, but that fight didn't really give all that much experience. Okay, let's just jump over and go heal then. Whoops, wrong way. Wait, what? Let me go in. There we go. So this right here should resurrect her, right? <laughs> now I see it's a nightmare. See, I don't know the difference between this, like, nightmare and the other mode, because I've never, like... Since I never played this game before, like... This just feels normal to me now. To just die every single fight, right? Isn't that how this game's supposed to be played? I don't want to fight this thing again. Okay, yeah, we're going to sneak by it this time. Why do you start on Nightmare anyways? Because! If you give me different difficulties at a start of a game, I have to play the game on the hardest difficulty. Otherwise, it's like, did I even play the game? I also, also like a challenge. Oh, hell no. Oh, hell no. Oh, wait, what? There really wasn't a creature in there. Scorpion. I got a... I got a whip. Wow, it's better, too. It's way better. It's a... Oh. Chest is already empty, you double dipper. Oh. You're going to get that regret that by the time you get to Rivery. I believe most devs would balance their game for normal difficulty, not the hardest, but I can understand wanting a challenge. Um, maybe. I don't know. Unless the hardest difficulty has like a one-shot mode or die once and lose everything, I'm playing. That is the thing. If, it, it, if it's a... If it's literally something where you die once and you lose everything, then I don't play on the hardest. Then screw, screw playing on the hardest. We're not doing that. But, like, I played, like, Final Fantasy Brave Exevious. I don't know if you guys played that gacha game before, but I played that gacha game without using any of the gacha characters. I literally only used the characters that were part of the main story. So we, 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 did, we, did, no, we did none of that um, using pooled characters. And that was, like, the funnest thing ever to do. And everyone was like, you can't beat a gacha game without using gacha characters. I did it. The final boss took like two hours, but I did it. Totally can, but I don't believe you about that one because I played it too. Dude! I did! Oh my gosh. Oh, I don't want to miss anything. Wait, I don't even know if this is, 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 is this missing something? Oh my gosh, I don't know if I'm, I'm missing anything. Um, I got stuck on the Wind Knight and had to level up totally different characters to beat him. I mean, they probably added more stories since you last played it. It's much harder. I, I completed the entire first chapter, uh, the entire first part of the game. So all the way, because there's like there's like the main there's like the the first like arc of the game, and then there's like the second arc of the game, where everything like starts over again, or not everything starts over, but every you're in like a whole different location. So I played like the entire entire first story within the game before they got to the second story, and I hundred percent fought the Wind Knight guy or whatever. Found EP charge. The chest is empty, makes you want to cry, doesn't it? Like, and you did, you, you go to like Super Saiyan with like rain and stuff.
So I'm gonna go this way just because it seems like I should be going this way. Oh my gosh, another chest. Jeweled ring. Oh, what does jeweled ring do? Do I even have a jeweled ring? I don't even know. Expensive ring fitted with an... Oh, it's defensive. I think I kind of want to give it to someone else. Actually, no. Maybe I should give it to her. Jeweled ring. There we go. We'll just give her a jeweled ring. And then we have a tea anklet. Freeze and petrify. It like does two things instead of one, like a lot of these other ones. So there we go. Give her that. Gave him right bracelet. She has defense three, defense two. Wait, one a second. There we go. Yeah, okay, 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 yeah. Sure. Sure, sure, sure. Now, Nightmare on Second Sky. Yeah, everyone's been telling me that. But well, we're, we're going to make it happen. Maybe. This door seems important, so let's go this way. Hold on a second. I can hear someone talking on the other side of the door. Sounds like some kind, some of the grunts. Let's take care of them before we move on so there are no surprises behind us later. What if I wanted surprises behind us later? Voice of some mana can be heard. Sounds like some of the grunts. Shall we rush the room? Yes. Let's rush in. Oh, you guys knew around here. <laughs> they think we're one of their groupies. Like in your freaking dreams. Are these guys for real? Um, but if you're not new here, then who are you? Wait. What? Are you supposed to be intruders? Bingo. We're with the Bracer Guild. I think it would be best if you surrendered. Forget that. We won't give up without a fight. Okay, how many of them are there? Ooh! Wait, they're faster than us? Oh, hell to the no. Okay, I'm gonna use Olivier when it gets to the crit. Holy shit. Aha, we took your crit. Oh, he does an AoE attack. Howling bullet. That was good damage. That was real good damage. No! Dude. They killed Estelle. They killed Estelle. I mean, they're all on top of each other now. They're going to die, but I guess I just don't get Estelle's experience. I kind of want to... Can I run away? Can I just let them kill me so Estelle doesn't die here so I can give her experience? This is like a big... This is a big fight. I think I'm just going to let myself die. Because I, I, I don't want Estelle to lose her experience. Try. Yeah, because the last guys gave us quite a bit of experience, too. Yeah, six, six, six. Oh, it's not that much. It's not that much experience. I should have just taken it when I had the chance. Oh, why am I so nice? I should move away, I think. Dang it, why did I, I should have just took the kill when I had the chance. Okay. Trying to move him away a little bit. No! Dang it. Whatever. Just, just kill me again. This time I'm gonna let them kill me again. Oh no, I thought I had it. Never mind. Come on, stop. 
There we go. Now we have it. Oh, I can't hit them all, though. It's the wrong crit time. Oh, whatever. I can hit... I can hit four of them. Leave her alone! God damn. They, they really wanted her to die right here. They really wanted her. Okay, Hellgate. On all of them. Let's go. All right, Ariel. On all of them. Let's go. Wait, can I can I lightning? Can I get a good lightning here? No, we can't we can't lightning that many people. But yeah, we can aerial on all of them. And they're 110 on aerial. Yeah, they're dead. Look at this. Get out of here. Oh, they're not all dead. They're almost all dead though. Um, I wanna save. Yeah, I wanna save their stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm saving it. Craft. Dual strike. On this one? Oh, dang. He's still alive. How does that work? Um... If only I could... If, like, right now, if I could, like, law tier, and it would actually hit Olivia, too. So good, but it can't. Because they somehow run back and somehow get hit. You know, I don't even understand how that works, but whatever. Really? Really, now. You're still alive. Oh my gosh, you're still alive. Get out. That's that. Let's move out. 36. Like, that's, that's all right experience, but it's not enough that I... You know, there, there's like a shining palm moment to find in the future. All right, now where are the hostages? If you don't start talking, there are going to be some serious consequences involving a whip. <laughs> Do what you want with us. We're not going to talk. Oh, is that so? Let me handle this, Estelle. Oh, sure. Can't say I didn't warn you guys. Oh! Hmm. Honestly, I'm being quite gentle with you. Don't think for a second that you're allowed to pass out yet. But if you start talking, maybe I'll be kind enough to let you. Yikes! They're down below! Some of our crew are guarding them. Very good. Now, where are your leaders? Kyle and Josette, right? Forget it, lady. Do your worst. No one will tell you where they are. So the hostages are one thing, but you're not going to sell out your bosses, huh? I guess there's only one thing left to do. <laughs> Holy Stragos. Sheer is as unforgiving as ever. This. No. I've been far more unforgiving. <laughs> it would be thrilled to make your acquaintance, Shira. And my whip would be thrilled to make yours. Maybe some other time. Looks like the hostages are being held down below. Let's hurry. Gosh damn. Shira, Shira, Shira. I see another whip related short in the near future. Maybe. Maybe. Um I think I think maybe, but also maybe we've had enough. Whip related shorts. Um, actually, I kind of want to make some food instead of. Oh, actually, no, I don't need to make any food. I can just run back to the airship, can't I? And I'll heal myself up. I'm trying to see if they, ha they have anything for me to grab. I don't think so. Yeah, let's run back to the airship. Oh, whoops. Oh, wrong way. Oh, oh, oh. It's a good thing that we have an airship that we can run into. It brings people to the stream, though. True. <laughs> Whoops. I, like, never looked around here. I wanted to make sure there was nothing around here. One thing I do know is I don't want to have, like, uh... What's it called? I don't want to miss that ring, because weren't we, we were supposed to find a ring, weren't we? And I'm pretty sure it would be in this hideout somewhere. I'm just gonna look in every room real quick one more time. Oh no, I didn't mean to attack him, but whatever. We, we can just run away. I don't need to fight this, these. It's that, that's such a huge fight. Nothing in here. Nothing in here. 
Nothing in here. Oh, I already looked at that chest. I'm just double checking all the rooms. Nothing in here. Nothing down here. That's right. Nope, I don't see any ring. Or anything that looks like it could be a ring. Alright, let's go in here one more time. I don't see any ring, any ring, any ring, any ring. Do, 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 do you have a ring? Do you have a ring? Do you have a ring? Nope, nope, nope. Nope, 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 nope. They're all knocked out. Okay, let's save here. What is that thing? Oh! I think this is behind it, but that thing looks nasty. Oh! Mad tree? What the fuck? That's gross. For real. Hellgate, right here. I'll just... Uh, craft Sylvan Whip, maybe? Yeah, we'll Sylvan Whip here. Um, let's go Hurricane, I guess. I could Hurricane here. No, craft. Oh no, I knocked them away from each other. How did that work like that? That's, that's screwed up. That's so screwed up right there. Wow, I knocked them all away from each other. This is the best I can do. It's not that many attacks, but it's three at least. Get away. Uh, we can use wholesome pasta. Heal ourselves up a bit. I thought I should make some of this food, shouldn't I? So that I have food for any fights that we get into. I don't think they use any of this. Oh, they use some olive oil for these ones. I want to have five of them. Am I going to have any milled flour left? I don't know if this is worth cooking right now. I'm not going to have any milled flour left at the end. So I have five olive oil. I have ten milled flour. Yeah, I'll just save. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to have any left if I use them all there. How big is this place? There's more? Let me go look up here. See, it's like rooms like this is what gets me. I feel like there should be something here, you know? But there isn't. Uh, I don't have a clue what this place is. It's way too big for these bandits to have built, and it seems pretty ancient. It almost feels like a stronghold of some sort, and I agree, this place is pretty old. What if people used hidden forts like this one as hideouts back then? As far as I've heard, the turmoil following the Great Collapse continued on for several hundred years. But it doesn't seem that strange to me that something like this is still around. The Great Collapse. The collapse of the ancient Samorian civilization, which existed more than 1,200 years ago, so that a huge natural catastrophe wiped them out. Oh, you mean like Professor Alba said before. I'll tell you what, though. For being a place this hard to find, someone's got some serious bad, seriously bad taste in hideouts. Not to mention, there are all sorts of monsters lurking around in here, too. I wonder if this is all... This is how all men like to live. I'm Shira. Just what kind of men are you hanging out with? Okay. Let's go in here. Oh, another chest. See, yeah, I like. I always want to save before chest because I'm not sure what's going to be in here. Oh, sugar R. Okay. So just some equipment then. These are the same boots that she already has on. Oh, what? Holy boots. These are what I fished. They just give you really good movement speed. Oh, wow. And these ones just make you really tanky. Wait, 
What are you wearing? Wearing work, work boots? Uh, we should give him stuff, shouldn't we? Wind base, earth base? No. I'll just give him these two, because it's something for him to have on. What does it say? This chest has nothing left to offer you. Oh, okay. That was like the lamest message, though. Oh. Uh, okay, let's save. Okay, this is one way we could go. And I don't think we came this way before. Can you please... <gasps> okay, thank you. Okay, why would there just be a random creature in here? It feels like I'm supposed to attack it. Like, like it's gonna give me something. Maybe it won't. Maybe I was just lying to myself. Hellgate. Aerial. And then she can run up and hit this one. Like so. Boom. I think if he quick straws though, he hits things back, doesn't he? Or something like that, I think. I hope he doesn't, but he might. He does. He does! Okay, let's hit this one. Aw, oh, dang it. The quick draw hits things back. I knew it. Hmm, flicker. Look at the wrist. I mean, how did you find the stream, Natrag? Was was it through the shorts? Okay. Wait a second, I was here before. Hold on a second, I can't hear someone talking on the other side of the door. It does sound like some of the grunts. Let's take care of them before we move on, so there are no surprises behind us. Okay, I think this is the way we're supposed to go, which means we should not go this way yet. I was checking some trolls in the sky reviews and found her stream by chance. Oh, okay, 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 okay. I'm like the furthest thing from a review. This. Oh! The first thing ever that you can touch in a room is a vacuum. Is this where the ring is? What's this? I'm guessing it's an orbital vacuum. Looks like the newest model, so it's probably stolen. Interesting. Uh, what's this? There's something stuffed inside. A black notebook. A notebook. Yeah, that's what it looks like to me. What's something like this doing inside a vacuum? It's probably something important. Let's hold on to it, just in case. Yeah, good idea. Wait, what? I found a black notebook? A notebook found inside of a vacuum in the Sky Bandit's hideout. Nonsensical rows of numbers are written inside. What? What? Oh, I found a black notebook. I found the death note. Got safe here. A bear assault? What, what's that? Is that a weapon again? Or no? Let me look. Items. Hmm. Really good weapon. Olivia? Seems like all like the good weapons and stuff I'm just finding out here. I have two needlers though. What? Just as empty because you emptied it. Funny how that works now. You know what I'm saying? Is there anything else back here that I didn't- any direction I didn't go back here? No, I think I went every direction back here. Yeah, I think I went everywhere. But I do have to go this way now. 
I'm trying to, like, I try to wait for them to move because it seems like after they move is when I can get by them the easiest. Does he just chiz for the one second he joined your team? Oh, yeah, that's right. Okay. Safe here, and let's see what's inside this room. Voices of some men can be heard. I can hear somebody talking again. Shall we rush the room? Rush in. Okay, more of these guys. Yep. Who are you guys supposed to be? Bracers. How'd you get in here? Looks like the hostages are being held in the room just behind, behind here. I think it's time you surrendered quietly or else. Don't kid yourself. Let's get them. They're never going to learn. They're never going to learn, Shira. No! It's like totally not fair how they can do that, to be honest, though. That's like the- it's like the least fair thing that, that this game has. Oh, they can just like walk in... ...and then just kill- kill all your people like they're nothing. I think Tira is better. I painted one of them at least. Art, like it's, there's nothing I can do. It's like you could try to do like this against them, but it's like Ariel's too good. Lotir? Maybe Lotir? Hope that they don't die? I, have to, I think I have to do it on this person. I think I have to do it here. I think he has to go in. Yeah. Who do we, who do we want to hit out? Oh wait, this is the only guy that can attack. Just hit, hit him out. There's only five health, but we're still, still taking him out. Um, I can... Nah, I'll just go with regular hill. La tier. Uh, art? No, I can't art. Take him out before he wakes up. There we go. Oh, that's all the fire I've been needing. Is Cassius here? I don't see him. Cassius isn't here. What's going on out there? It seems a bit loud for just an in internal squabble. Is everyone all right? We're with the Bracer Guild and we've come to rescue you. So seriously, we're, we're saved? We've taken care of the guards, so you don't need to worry about anything for the moment. Really? We've been saved. I'm Grant, Captain of the Airliner Lindy. I don't know how to express my gratitude for what you've done for us to here today. You can thank us after we've gotten you out of here. By the way... Uh, um... It doesn't look like he's here. Who? Uh, are these all the hostages? Yes, that's correct. This is everybody who was on the Lindy, including crew and passengers. That can't be right. Wasn't there a man by the name of Cassius Bright on this flight? He's a member of the Bracer Guild. Cassius Bright, hmm. I do seem to remember hearing that name somewhere. Um, Captain, isn't he the, that passenger? You know, the one who got off right before we left? Right, now that you mention it, there was one passenger who did get off. Say what? What do you mean? Well, there was this one passenger who disembarked the airliner right before we took off. A man who had been on board since the rural city, and he did seem to have such a name, if I remember correctly. 
What? But his name was on the passenger list. Well, since he got off right before we departed, there wasn't any time to document the changes. This would have been handled had we arrived in Roland, but we were attacked by the Sky Bandits in route, and things were left as they were. So that's what happened, huh? That would have been awfully strange if Dad had been captured by the Sky Bandits. Well, it looks like our question has finally been answered. Aha! How ironic! Now wait a minute. Then just what is Dad doing? With something this big going on, why hasn't he contacted us? Calm down, Estelle. I know you're as curious to know as I am, but thinking about it now isn't going to get us anywhere. Our focus needs to be on securing the safety of the hostages. Okay, you're right. I guess I'll just have to forget about it for now. Listen up, everyone. We are not going to go after the Sky Bandit leaders and arrest them. I know how you all must feel, but I need you to sit tight a little longer. We'll be waiting here. Good luck. If that's the case, we'll <laughs> prepare for the worst. Our lives are in your hands. In other words, don't let us down. Leave everything to us. Okay. They're all just like walking in place. This is so weird when you see this many people doing this. This was the first time I'd ever ridden on an airliner, and to think that something like this would happen. Oh, I'll finally be able to get home to Z's. Oh, have we been saved? I must be dreaming or something. Are you guys bracers? Are you going to arrest the new nice guards? The nice guards? Thank you. More than myself, I'm glad to know Atkit's been saved. Oh, I wonder what's going on with my store right now. Thanks for coming in to our rescue, Bracers. Now I'll finally be able to return home. The Sky Bandits ripped off everything I bought at the Bosley Market. Make sure to get my stuff back, Bracers. Now I'll finally be able to get back to my travels. Being stuck here has put a real kink in my plans. All things considered, I'm surprised you were able to find and get in this place. Being a Bracer must be a tough occupation, huh? Man, I thought this was the end of us for sure. There was something just not right about the look in the Sky Bandit's boss's eyes. Thanks, thank you for saving us. All the passengers are safe and sound. No one's sick or injured. I'm sure the Sky Bandit leaders are somewhere on the lowest level of this place. Be careful, all, all of you. After the way they ripped out the Lindy's engine, I'll keep it in such a good repair all this time. I'll never forgive them for that. I'm glad that they were safe. But what happened to the Lindy? We were blind photos, so we were never exactly saw what happened. Okay. I need you to come to save us. Thank you all. Cool. Sucks for you all. I like how they're just all just like knocked out. So let me see. If I... Do I have enough EP? I think I do. I think I should. I have enough EP to keep going. What's in here? There's a rock wall at the end of the passage. Is this a dead end? No, it looks like there's something here. Shall we try pushing on it? Let's leave it alone for a second. What's up here? A reviving bomb, okay. You think it's a, the treasure chest is offended that you have returned? <gasps> Was the first time not good enough for you? No, it wasn't. Can I can I can I get more? I need I need another reviving bomb, please. The only voice can be heard. Is this? Yep, looks like the Sky Bennett boss room. He's dropping then raid the room, not yet. Rock rock in the patches set in. No, it looks like something. Shall we try pushing on it? Let's push on the rock wall. Oh! We so figured out a different way. Cool, so now we can get back here. This was a secret door. That's quite a neat little trick there. I wouldn't expect anything less from a secret fort. This looks like it's the corner of the Nibble Valley. Shiro, should we help the po hostages escape first? No, we need to take out the Sky Bandit boss first. If we're attacked while attempting to escape, there's no way we'll be able to protect that many people. Oh, that's true. Well, then how about we get back in there and have a face-to-face -face chat with the gentleman running this fine operation? Okay, so what I'm probably going to end up doing, actually, is that uh, I need to go to a dentist appointment. So I'm actually not quite sure if I'll even have enough time to uh, get through the next section of the game without having to, like, stop. Because I don't know if they're going to make me, like, fight the boss and then do, like, a whole, like, storyline segment or what. So I'm going to go ahead and, um... 
head back to the ship and save there. No! Dang it. And and do the the the, the savey thing there and use the uh, the hill thing there. But I think this is the right way, right? Gosh, damn, this place is huge. I didn't realize how far I went. What the hell? I didn't know I went this far. What? Oh my gosh. Please move. Please move. Thank you. Let me in. Thank you very much. Okay. All right. I think this is yeah. Hey, yeah. We're, we're gonna save right here. But yeah. So next time, um. I'm going to be streaming tomorrow morning, 7 a.m. Pacific Standard Time like normal. Uh, I'm just heading off stream a little bit early today because I need to go and uh, to a dentist appointment to get my... Uh, I'm getting like some new Invisalign trays from, from my dentist. And then uh, tomorrow should be like a normal length stream. I just want to make sure that I don't get there late at all. And I'm not sure this next part of the game if it's going to be like some huge drawn out like text and fight and everything and how hard it's going to be. Um, Cause I don't want to end up in like side of a boss fight that ends up taking like, you know, an hour and I need to go to the dentist in like 40 minutes. Uh, yeah, thank you all for hanging out. It's been fun as always. Um, and yeah, see you guys tomorrow. Bye.